Yo, what's up guys? Bajiri here. So this is gonna be a fun video, and it's gonna be answering a question that I see a lot on stream, and in the comment section of the YouTube videos, which is, what is your transmog? So those questions range from what is your transmog weapon, or how did you get those shoulders, or what is that enchant on your weapon, and so, one, this allows me to show off what I consider to be my signature transmog, <laughs> and my favorite transmog which is what I call the Iron Nightmare version 2. <laughs> so, we, ha we used to have the Iron Nightmare version 1, now we've updated it a little bit over the past years or so. Um, but this is pretty much what we're working with. This is this is what I consider to be my signature transmog. I like it a lot. And we'll, uh, we'll go through what it is. So, um, going from the top, the Lava Dipped Great Helm comes from Mythic BRF. Now this is back in Legion. And I didn't actually do Mythic BRF to get it. I actually got it out of one of my, like, like, garrison boxes. You know how you could send your guys off on missions and they would go collect gear for you? It actually got me a Mythic Helm out of that, I'm pretty sure. Which is kind of crazy. It's funny. Um, but I'll take it. Uh, and that looks really, really cool. I, I, people say it doesn't fit exactly well with this armor set, but I'm, I'm really okay with that. It doesn't have to fit perfectly. I think it actually looks sick. But I will say that the little, the three little fire lines right here do match with the little three fire lines on some of the other gear, which we'll go through. Um, these shoulders are not available anymore, I'm sorry. Uh, they, it came from Legion, like, I think seasons 5, 6, and 7. So these are the Fierce Gladiator's Plate shoulders. If you didn't get them back then, I don't know if you can get them now, unless you were elite back then. You might be able to go pick them up. Um, usually for my cloak, I don't even transmog a cloak most of the time. Uh, same thing with a tabard. I don't generally transmog a tabard. I kind of like the way it looks better. Without a tabard on human, at least. Uh, the chest is the demonic gladiator's chest piece, which is pretty much the same thing as the fierce gladiator's chest piece. Um, all these seasons are pretty much the same thing. But I, I like the demonic glad for this one. Uh, bracers, you don't really, I don't really see them, but they're still mogged to the fierce gladiators. Um, so are the gloves. So, uh, quite a few pieces are from the Fierce Gladiator set. I'm just a, I'm a big sucker for these, like, black and red fiery transmogs. And I like the way that the Fierce Glad stuff looks. Um, and so all that stuff is the Elite set from the PvP season, right? The gloves are pretty cool. They're these big, like, heavy plated gloves with, like, spikes on them and stuff. It's cool. I like the spikes on the shoulders, too. Um, but yeah, the belt is the Black Rock Girth. Pardon me, miss. We're recording a video here. Okay. Um, this one comes from uh, your your garrison as well. It comes from like your I forget I forget what the building was called, but you would basically be able to get like iron scraps and create gear sets from that just for transmog. And this is this belt was from that. So this is another thing from Warlords of Draenor. Uh, no, more fierce gladiators legs. They look pretty cool. They have like the plating on like the hip. Right there, it looks pretty sweet. Um, and then the boots are another one of those things from the Black Rock set. So I think that the helmet kind of ties together with these because of the, the three vertical, like, fire little things. And it kind of goes with the, the fierce or the demonic glide shoulders, too. Um, and that's pretty much it for the actual items. It's, it's all sort of tied together from, like, Warlords of Draenor gear, Legion gear. And then the BFA edition is the weapon, right? This thing is uh, this thing is called the Plundered Blade of Northern Kings, and you can get it from Island Expeditions. I never did get it to drop from Island Ex Expeditions, so I just went ahead and bought it off the auction house. And then, of course, after I bought it, you know, like in season four of BFA, I, I had like you know a bunch of them dropping, or, or got it from like my mission table or something. So I was able to sell a few, couple of those back and give some to the viewers and stuff, which is cool, because it's a really sweet-looking weapon, probably one of my favorites. And then in terms of the enchant, it's called Glorious Tyranny. It's, uh, it was also called Bloody Dancing Steel- Miss. Please. We're, we're, uh, it's called Bloody Dancing Steel from Miss of Pandaria. Um, it was like, like, Dancing Steel was like the enchant they used, and then you could upgrade it to Bloody Dancing Steel. If you were like 2400 plus, and then had the similar sort of thing in Warlords of Draenor, where it was just called Glorious Tyranny, and then there was also another one that was like bluish, 
Uh, but in Wad, like the blue one had like this kind of dripping blood thing, and so it had like an interesting trail. Then the the other one that they have now, the blue one from Wad, is kind of like it's a little different, but it still looks cool. But that all comes together to form this kind of like black and red iron looking transmog, which I really really like. Um, and it's like like I said, I've been wearing this transmog forever, and I I periodically like go to another transmog <laughs> for like a second and then uh, then I come back to this one but it's kind of funny because I feel like we just swapped to Venthyr on my main so I could level up a different Covenant we hit 40 on Night Fae and so I wanted to work on this one too um, but yeah I think this one definitely fits my like I think this one fits Venthyr a lot better than it fit Night Fae but whatever but yeah so this that's pretty much how it works is it's a combination of Legion gear, some WAD gear, some BFA gear. Haven't really um, added any Shadowlands stuff to it yet, but I do. I do wonder. I think Glorious Tyranny looks is my favorite enchant for this, but I I do wonder if that uh, that Venthyr kind of blood looking enchant will be cool for this too. I'll have to try that out as well. But yeah, I like this one a lot. I, we could also. I mean, this is about my transmog, but in terms of my gear, if you guys are curious. Pretty much I'm just doing like the PvP gear, right? I think I'm going for it as much haste. I was going for as much haste verse as I could get, and then I would be doing crit verse wherever I couldn't get haste verse. But um for Venthyr, I'm gonna probably start buying some more crit pieces where I don't have crit and start putting together like a really heavy crit, low haste, maxed out versatility, um, exploiter build instead of this kind of like haste crit, haste verse. Uh, Battle Lord thing. I think that's a little bit better for Venthyr in general, but um, that'll be the plan. But, but I, I definitely have that going on my Horde Warrior though. But instead of focusing on like a bunch of different transmogs, I'll just show you guys my favorite transmog. Although this, uh, I don't think I, I, that that one lady was able to go through the door. Am I able to go through the door? No. Anyway, <laughs> but I, I was uh, I wear this transmog right now with uh, the. The Sinful Glider to Soul Eater mount, which ends up going really well together. So if you guys see me on stream or in videos and BGs running around or running around an arena, you'll see me wearing this transmog with this mount. And like I said, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big sucker for this like black and red motif. So, been enjoying this expansion a lot so far. <laughs> and I'm glad that we were able to pick up another really cool mount to go with it. Um, but hopefully this answers some of the questions about my transmog. Just because... People seem curious, and if I ever, you know, put together some more transmogs. I know I've done videos in the past where I've shown off a variety of transmogs, and that has been fun. And if you guys are interested in that, maybe we'll do some more in the future. But I just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys the Iron Nightmare V2, just so you guys can enjoy that and have an idea of where these pieces came from, and then perhaps put together something similar um, with the pieces that you have available to you if you want to. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks you, thank you for your continue, uh, continued support on the YouTube channel, on the Twitch stream, on all of our platforms, helping grow our community and continue to progress this project as we've been doing for 10 years plus now. Pretty wild. Let's keep kicking butt together, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Peace.